over the raster data processing so though that is mosaicing technique in arcgis so there is a various way we are doing the mosaicing in arcgis pro i will going to discuss about the three different techniques which we can apply to creating the mosaic data sets okay so um, there is a two concept actually one is the raster using the raster analytics you can create a mosaic okay another one is uh, you can use the geo processing tool to create the mosaic and if you want to create a, a mosaic data sets that also you can create using uh, the raster geo processing tools okay so there is a three way you can do this technique so very quickly i will going to discuss one by one so here uh, first is the using the raster analytics how you can do this thing okay so uh, i have suppose a uh, two map uh, of land set so first i will going to show you uh, the automated technique okay so like i have one is land set 8 another one is land set 9 okay so let's open this mtl.txt file simply okay over this two image okay, so i will just going to open this two image one is land set 8 another one is land set 9 okay so if you want to create a false color composite over this it will automation will work over here so you click on the color inferred similarly uh, you can click on the color inferred so there is a contrast difference you want to make it same then you can do the histogram manipulation you can apply the histogram manipulations over the both image so then the illuminations will come down little bit like this to manipulations and applying over this image and then you select it you can apply the histogram manipulations of this image so you see here almost uh, it will contrast value will be the same okay so now if you want to do the mosaic then very easy select this two okay and uh, then come to the imagery select this and uh, simply click on this composite image oh, sorry mosaic image sorry okay so simply do the mosaic so you will get a single image mosaic over this both okay so just see here this is the mosaic data sets which is created uh, okay so this is the mosaic data sets which is created here so if you switch off this this is the mosaic okay so if you want to create a color balancing uh, sorry uh, Uh, band combinations you can create the band combinations sequence wise so like band 4 and 3 and band so we do sorry not band 3 band okay so band 5 4 and 3 so that is what you can create over here okay so to make the band combination sequence Okay, so this is the process actually. Yeah, uh, if you want to do using the raster matrix, if you want to create the mosaicing, see very nicely it was mosaic of the both the areas. As before starting, I did uh, the color balancing, so almost the mosaicing make the similar results. So this is uh, you know, the the manual techniques how uh, you can do the mosaics directly over the satellite image. okay so this is the one process but here use the in the using this process you don't have options for feathering and all okay so for that there is another tool is there if you want the statistical approach you need to apply so then there is a raster tool is also there using that also you can do the mosaic so let's uh, do that uh, i am just opening same like that's at nine also i will going to add the same brush uh, browse so line set 8 okay now uh, the same process uh, you can apply the both uh, make the similar band combination color in for it for this also color in for it now you can make uh, this color balancing by uh, using the color histogram manipulation histogram manipulation see here now there is another process you can do the mosaicing so you can go to the imagery raster function 
Okay, so in branch step functions, there is one option called mosaic. So if you see here this is the mosaic raster. So whatever the rasters you are open here now, so you can simply click on this two. Okay, and uh, this is the new raster. Just see here. So I will make the operation blend. Okay, so you see that is the operations which I applied over here. Okay, so I just forget to show you. So this is the blend, uh, minimum, maximum. So all these options will be there. You will get it here. Okay, so using these techniques also you can apply. See here, similar approach is done. Okay, so you can go for five, four, three, four and three. Okay, so this is the advantage of using the raster analytics tools. You can do the mosaic in a two-way direct approach. You can go for the statistical approach which you can apply. Now, using the geoprocessing tool, if you want to do the uh, mosaicing, then there is some rules. Okay, the rules is manually you have to do the stack. As you seen here, here do both time I open the automatic mtl.txt file, and uh, using that I am doing the mosaicing rules. Okay, but if you go over here, okay, so then. Uh, if you want to use the geoprocessing tool and create the mosaic, so then you have to follow the rule. First rule is the composite band rule. So this is the composite bands. So you have to individually, you have to stack the two inches. Okay. So what you need to do, you just see here. Uh, I have, suppose I will make a folder. Okay, so this is the uh, thing I created. If you sorry, so here you need to individually you have to composite the band. So see here, I have uh, the lines at eight. So this is my lines at eight. Eight dollar bands, one, two, five, six. Eight band I required. So I select the eight band. I will mosaic it wherever the outputs I want to save. Suppose I want to save it. Here as name as length at it. Okay, so you can save it so as a length at it. Okay, so simply click on run and let's wait for the composite band results. Okay, so it is almost going to create the results. Let's see the results how it is coming. Uh, as you see, this is ready. Length at it is composite band is done. Now, similarly, you have to do the composite band over the another image also for Landsat 9. So, let's click the Landsat 9. Okay, so this is the Landsat 8 we did. Now, let's go to the Landsat 9. Yeah, this one. So, I will select the first one. So, you need to select the 8 band and simply click on it. So give this as Landsat. This is you can provide as a Landsat. Okay. Say so once you've done now simply run this and let's wait for the result of the Landsat eight also another thing is we will do this the most. Okay, so as the results came, the similar technique you have to do over the both image. Just need to go here, the program equalizations of the previous image. You want to change the band combination, you can change five, three, and three. to select this one also. Change the band combinations and you can change the program equalizations. Five. And three. Okay. Now the next step. So next step is you can do the mosaicing of these two data sets. Now uh, in this uh, geoprocessing tool, we just need to type mosaic to raster. Okay. So there is a tool you will get it over here. This is called mosaic to raster. So now you need to give input of the both the images which you need to select. Okay. So output locations where you want to save this mosaic data sets. So you can give, um, uh, select that particular location, okay, and then simply click on it. And you can give a mosaic after name, like you can give a name as 
that is like okay. I give a mosaic name like this. So uh, uh, rest of the things will find you need to give the band uh, combinations. So here I am giving as a eight band. So number of band is eight. So that you have to mention. Okay. So uh, if you see the bits, so you can go for the sixteen bits uh, assigned that you can do, and then simply click on done. So let's run and wait for the result. Yes. Now the two things are mosaic as we see over here. So we just need to change this combinations like band four. Five, four, and three. So you can see the are mosaic or petal. Now there is one more technique which I just discussed. Okay, so that is how to create using the geo means if you want to create a mosaic data sets, then how we going to do? <laughs> okay, so over here only I just need trying to show you. So because to doing this process first manually you need to do the stacking if you do the automatic stacking your first two things which i showed you so then it will not going to work okay so to creating a mosaic data set you have to do this manual stacking and generate this two image first okay so once you generate this two image and uh, then uh, you need to go uh, to the uh, you can say i already created one mosaic data set for here na? So I will do for you, I will do it one more. Okay, so as I showed you the process first, see this is I already did. Okay, so the process is first you have to stack this two. Okay, image just you see here. First I already created this two stacked image and then I just uh, create a uh, geo database. Under a geo database, I create a mosaic data sets. So then mo mosaic data sets, I have to add the rasters, these two rasters and then uh, this rasters will mosaic and give it to you like this okay so the process let's see uh, that another process which you can do it over here now or not okay so for this uh, the process is you just need to right click go to new and find the rasters this two image I will going to add is there. So for that you need to go to the geo processing tool. Okay, so uh, you just go to the favorite. So now uh, first is create a mosaic data. Okay, sorry, um, uh, you, you are creating a mosaic data. Set. So that is the first thing which you have to do. So mosaic data sets you need to create inside our geo database only. So geo database you already created. You need to select that geo database. So see this is. Uh, the Landsat mosaic, I think uh, that would be it. Yeah, this is the uh, I created this will be sent you. So let's select this and click on okay. Okay. So now the mosaic data set name you can give, so you can be one name. You can do it. I just give a name like this. Okay? A coordinate system, you can select any one of these uh, land side data sets. Okay? So then it will take from there. Now in the product definitions, better you can go with the none because you are using the a manual stacking technique so go for the none so here i in this uh, pixel property we will the number so this is eight band and the pixel types you can go for the 16 bits okay so let's run and uh, create the mosaic data set first so once the mosaic data sets will create then uh, you see here this mosaic data set So in this mosaic data set, we need to add the raster. Okay. So best way either you can click on this add to raster and go, and or you just go inside this uh, uh, Landsat mosaic. Okay. So and you just right click on this and click on add rasters. Okay. So add raster data sets. So raster data types. 
these are the default types okay so i am just going to select the simple raster types only and change it anything here okay so data sets you need to select okay or here you have options you see here landsat nss a lot of options will be there so if you are going with the simple one so i think uh, better we can go with this one okay so let's try with this and i will just going to tell you uh what is the process actually so see brands are eight and nine is there because we are going to use the both that table now so that's why i am just going to select raster data sets only as it is a default so it's not compulsory options okay now data processing is fine default okay so now input data sets are important which you need to add this lens at eight and nine okay so click on this and come to the mosaic data eight select and click on so, so now you go in a raster processing eligible this uh, calculate statistic and okay. so now once you've done this too now you send something click on run and let's wait for the as it is once we run this now this is completely generated your raster mosaic data sets so if you switch off the footprint you can see you can able to control uh, from here also so you can change the band combinations like five four and three five four and three okay. so this is the process of how you can do the mosaicing over this type of landsat data sets using uh, this particular mosaic. so this is very important because sometimes you need to publish this as a imagery okay so it's a image server okay so in that case you need to log in with your uh switch active portal you have to uh you have to go with the portal log in and then where you save this mosaic data okay so that you have to publish as a share okay so as it will now it will not come okay so once you uh log in with your active portal so with, if you have the image server, so in the catalog, you have to right click on the mosaic data sets and then only you have to publish it. That's why this mosaic data sets and within the mosaic data sets, mosaic raster data is important. So I almost I'll already showed you all the four techniques inside ArcGIS Pro, how we'll do the mosaicing. I know this is little big videos, but uh, uh, just to remember, this is a direct analysis techniques directly to do uh, open and fill the text to file and directly do the mosaicing. This is using the apply statistics like the blending, minimum, maximum, you want to apply it over the two three images. So that you can do. But uh, all the techniques, histogram calculations is a very compulsory thing. So before doing the, any kind of mosaicing, you apply the histogram calculations, load the image, and then you can do it. And then third one I showed you, if you are using the geoprocessing tool and you are to create a mosaic cluster, so then <clears throat> directly you can do this this one. So using the geoprocessing tool also, you can generate the mosaic. If you want to create mosaic data sets, which you need to publish or another take it. So in that case, you have to generate this as your mosaic data sets. Clear? So I hope uh, I try to uh, explain uh, this mosaicing techniques. Okay, it's a little complex because when you go for the um, more number of bands, the challenges will come more. Okay, but uh, I hope these all techniques will uh, help you to do the mosaicing over this time. So if you like this video, please share this video to the others and uh, give your comments okay so your support is uh, very much needed so then i will get the motivations and do more cool videos like this thank you thank you very much thank you all